Hello, I am Franklin Chang Diaz, Chairman and CEO of Ad Astra Rocket Company, and I am honored to have been invited to address you today at Gishara 2015. I am sorry I could not be with you in person today, but I am happy to be able to share these thoughts and these perspectives all the way from Houston. I often mention in conversation that we are all astronauts. We are the crew of a small spaceship we call the Earth, the only one we have and the one we must protect. To an astronaut, the most important of the ship's systems is not the engines or the communications or its guidance and navigation. It is its life support system. Ours has to support more than 7 billion human beings, and it is in disrepair. It needs maintenance. The view from space gives us a unique perspective to appreciate humanity's weight on our planet. Most striking are our cities, which have grown to the point where they affect the local climate. The city of Boston, New York City, London, Paris, Cairo and the Nile River Delta, the Suez Canal, and look at that straight line right there on the right in the desert, the border between Egypt and Israel, showing that borders between nations are indeed visible from space. The imprint of humanity on our planet is even more striking at night when we can also appreciate our growing consumption of energy. The Nile River comes alive at night as a bright path of light through the desert leading to the sea. The Florida Peninsula, peaceful and majestic during the day, comes alive at night showing the irreversible impact of humans on the fragile ecosystem of the Everglades. Europe is no different. The Italian peninsula appears in the waters of the Mediterranean during the day, shows the current density of human population and energy consumption during the night. We need food, lots of it. And that means we require land and water and pesticides and fertilizers and more fuel to drive the machinery, to plant the seeds and to harvest the crops. But to plant the crops, we have cleared the forests that are home to our biodiversity and are part of our life support system. We are burning our spaceship because it is easy and it is cheap. We have resorted to fire to clear the fields without regard to the large quantities of smoke and particulates that we have managed to pump into our thin atmosphere, resulting in respiratory illnesses and contributing to global warming. Every one of these uh, red dots in this one-day snapshot of Central America corresponds to a field being burned by human action. The results of climate change are now evident in the melting of glaciers, such as this view of southern Patagonia. But we also live in the sun's environment, and nothing is more spectacular to a space traveler than to appreciate this reality as we fly through the aurora. The dancing curtains of light created when the solar plasma, guided by the Earth's magnetic field, hits our atmosphere near the poles. And the Earth's environment and our human livelihood are also deeply affected by events which we cannot control. 
like volcanoes and storms. Earth is indeed a majestic spaceship with awe-inspiring vistas and oceans, canyons, rivers, island chains, mountain ranges, and familiar places that we call home. Someday an awe-inspiring sunset such as this one on Mars will be taken not by a robot but by a human being. So let me end with one of my favorite shots from space. This one taken two years ago by the Cassini spacecraft in orbit around the giant planet Saturn. 1.5 billion kilometers from Earth. But when we zoom closely, just below Saturn's rings, Cassini picked a tiny point of light lost in the vastness of space. That is us. Thank you very much.